In today's video, we will recreate this email template by hers in Figma and export this template from Figma as HTML email code and test this code in popular email platforms such as Outlook, Gmail, and Apple. So let's get started. I created a file for you in Figma, it's, uh, here's the screenshots, assets, here's the uh, text and images. And we will recreate this structure and make this structure for mobile version. So first, let's run the plugin. Make sure you have installed the plugin, plugin called Marco Email Generator. You can find it simply by typing Marco Email Generator in Figma community or link will be in the description. To run the plugin, you can go to the top bar or after first run, plugin will be on the right sidebar. So let's create a new project. By default, plugin creates a new empty outer layout frame with 600 width, but our example is wider, so let's adjust a width. Next step, let's create a base structure for the template. First, it's a container for the logo. In the plugin, you can go to the assets, then go to the builder section, and here you can find uh, containers and elements for build this kind of templates. So let's get started with first block with logo. Let's put a one column container inside our template. And let's put another container for this text. And then let's, it's an image, command C, then select slot container. Make sure you have selected a name from call a name called slot container and then common fee so you passed it your logo to this container after that you can adjust alignment of this logo select frame called slot container then go to the right sidebar where you can find out level settings and here you can adjust your logo position next let's create this block, it's kind of button with text, full width button. So let's create a new outer layout container. Go to the top, select frame tool, then create a container. Then let's adjust the color. To adjust the color, go to the right sidebar, get this tool and take color from the plate. To transform your container to outer layout, select this template, go to right sidebar and click Auto Layout. All frames without Auto Layout will be exported as image. To make sure your template export as code, make sure you have added Auto Layout to every frame with text. So in the next step, let's adjust a border radius. It's important to set for text fill container. Let's select text inside this frame, set fill container and adjust uh, spacing between this green frame. Select text and then set center alignment for this text then command c and select the next frame with call slot container command v and set fill container for this frame now you have two blocks let's add header to this template to do so we have a uh, one column another one column block so we can sim you can simply drag and drop this one column block inside our template, then text, past text into this block, update, select slot container, then date spacing, and if you select a one column frame, you can update horizontal and vertical spacing for this block. Update uh, fill color. 
and as a next step let's add two columns block you can find some columns in the ready-made section for example from e-commerce you can use for example this block it's look familiar let's try to use this block and update image and ground color i select this frame then go to the fill date color then image command c command v and text it's important to set fill container for the text button and price let's add a counter i prepared the counter here it's just a frame and text it's frame without auto layout we want this counter export as images so command c command v and it's no need to add auto layout to this image because we want, as I said before, we want to export this number as image. So we have this block. You we can duplicate this block two times to create a couple of rows. So to do so, select uh, our block, then command D. You can duplicate this block, two columns block. Then update padding update a fill color and update border radius so I select image then put inside local fold container and text make sure you have added fill container for text items and we need to add the button to add button get the here's a block section you can find some common used blocks for example button by default the button has purple color you can update this color to any one that you want to use and And in our example, uh, text alignment vertically to image to, to recreate this. We can select our block called cards, which has two children called slot container. And then go to auto layout settings and update center alignment. And in this way, block will alignment with center of this image. And in our example, the phone on the bottom. To place our phone to the bottom, we can select a container, parent container of this phone, and go to auto level settings and update vertical alignment to the bottom and remove vertical spacing and in this way the phone will be placed on the bottom and the last part is footer we footer some text block so to add text block we can uh, insert uh, one column then can see V, center fill container for the text, then update padding and block with social icons. One another one column with you can use social icons from the plugin. 
here is a special item for it or you can use your own social icons command, command c select all container command a but make sure uh, you add these icons into outer layout frame to make sure our links will work so we recreated this template let's select uh, these dashed borders you can turn it off or turn it on by clicking on this top on this slot borders switch on the top of the plugin let's click on the preview seems like everything is fine and but it seems like we can update some padding for this block on the mobile so let's check how it email will look on different email clients to do so click export then copy email code command c then go to tool where you can test your template then clients start. it's a gmail and outlook and iPhone even dark mode on outlook and with dark mode make sure you have um, on dark mode some clients such as outlook can invert the background so make sure you have you use image which has a white background so this is how it works our link will be in the description